14 millimeter nuts to take off the slide pins. And if you need, take a 14 millimeter wrench and right here and right here, it's a counter hole to help take it off easier. This is where you might need a breaker bar. But we'll see. Hopefully not. Yeah. We're gonna need a breaker bar. remember how these things go in and this goes like so what I'm gonna do is take the new pads out this is your indicator so like when your brakes get low these will start squealing you just have to put it on the right pad so we'll look at this pad the original and it's on this one right so this is how it will line up I'm going to take it and put it on like this, like that. So now it matches this side, which is new. So if we take this off, you see it's like the mm -hmm. same, similar. Okay. So each side has their own indicator. And this side goes... like that okay so we can remember that <clears throat> these will go like this right wait so the pad goes on like this so we'll remember that these go like this and that's how what side it goes on what side we can take off these and it'll go in this way no this way this is this side and this is that side. Go like that. Okay, so now I can take these off. Okay. But yeah, now we gotta clean this bracket where the metal um, metal protector things where those go. Wanna clean that up nicely so there's no bonding going on. Then, I'm gonna put the new brakes in. You need a wire brush. And some brake clean. And clean this up. And this is where N94 masks will actually protect you. Or in any five minutes. <laughs> okay. How do you know when it's done? Just gotta get it as good as possible. I mean, you could go on with like an angle grinder, or not an angle, but like a wire brush on an angle grinder or something like that and uh, really go to town on this but you just want to get it as good as possible because either way those shims are going to be on it and that's mm -hmm. going to protect most of it you just don't want it, you just don't want rust on it it's just not mm -hmm. so fun to deal with yeah, you do not want to get this stuff in your eyes that's why you gotta put on your handy dandy squints. <laughs> okay. You have to push it in all the way until it's like it's flush in there. See 
See, like I made it bend down. Mm. You also don't want these things coming apart. Oh, there we go. That's better. I'm gonna try to get all the pieces flush with the metal. There we go. Taking out these slide pins. Now we gotta clean it up. Tissue. So when you put this in, I'm gonna give it a few things few little squishes so it gets all over the place. Okay. Again. I could just try to hit it with the hammer. It doesn't get any tighter or whatever, it's fine. Grease. The whole back. Some people don't do the whole thing. Some people don't even put grease. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. And just get the whole thing. Because technically it isn't the um the piston doesn't really touch the whole back. But I feel like you would rather have the whole back just in case. Are these? This is a brake caliber um, retractor set. You don't have to use this. You can use like big ass pliers or something. But it's just easy to use.
these back into the guide pins. Now we're done.